So to start off your basic combos against mid fallers, your best friends are going to be down tilt, grab, and side B. Off of down tilt, your best option, as I said in my other video, is going to be down tilt Nair. Nair is just a much better option than your other aerials at low percent. At zero, on DI in or no DI, basically if they fly straight up when you down tilt them, you have to do a down tilt full hop Nair. And on DI out, when you see them fly horizontally, you have to short hop Nair. At these low percents, DI out is actually better and leads to much better combos as well as better stage positioning. Stage position. Down tilt and air can combo into side B, both on DI in and DI out, grab, and F smash, both on the ground and on platforms. Which also killed Fizzwiggle. Wow, what a combo. Remember that a full hop Nair will auto cancel on platforms, making it even better. At low percents, it's important, it's imperative to make use of the double down tilt technique. I also want to emphasize the importance of using double down tilt. I want to emphasize the importance of using your door lock. I, but I really do though. Whenever down tilting a grounded opponent, they can sometimes get knocked down. This happens if they hold down during the hit stun of the move. The best way to beat this is to just down tilt again. You can practice the timing for this in Uncle Punch using these two settings in combo training. Your other options for when an opponent gets knocked down are to bring up your shield or hold down and try to tech chase them. Don't jump! Whatever you do, when you see your opponent get knocked down at low percent, don't jump! Stay on the ground! Anyway, your best time to fish for a double down tilt is at low percent, after a laggy move, after a spot dodge, after a tech in place, or after CCing an opponent's move. Here's an example. This Falcon tries to Raptor boost me at, at the start of the game, so I jump over it, I follow him, he's at zero, he's still on lag from the Raptor boost, so I have reason to believe he's probably holding down right now. Double down tilt, Nair, F smash, horrible DI, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Remember that down tilt tumbles every character in the game at zero. Down tilting someone onto a platform will force them into a tech, and it allows for these grounded knockdown situations. Now for your aerials. We have to make sure we're using our aerials correctly. Practice your short hop fast fall L cancel, and in particular, your fast fall timing. I mentioned this in my previous video, but I wanna make sure to hammer this in. Try to use your aerials as close to the ground as possible. Here we have a Sheik set to no DI just for an example. Here's Roy doing a short hop instant fare, and here's him doing his fares closer to the ground. Using your aerials closer to the ground during combos is the best way to get more reliable follow-ups. Remember, your aerials have low hit stun and a decent amount of, la of landing lag, so you're trying to supplement this by getting your next hit out as soon as possible. Another way to do this is to make use of runoff aerials, like runoff up airs and runoff fares, to get your aerials out faster. That's also something you can do. With that out of the way, I'm going to show off a bunch of useful Roy combos and uh, Roy strings, you know, bread and butter stuff. Starting off with side B. Side B 1 2 3 is just a great 1 2 3 combo, and it works especially well against these mid weight characters. Extending combos into side B is also an extremely useful tool. Examples include side B to cover tech rolls, poke ledge, off of down tilt, off of aerials, off of throws, off of really any stray hit that you land. It's very useful because there's very little risk involved, as side B is non-committal, it's fast, you can cancel your side B at any point, simply clipping someone with the tipper of the first hit of side B can drag them into the rest of the combo. It can steal jumps, it can set up edge guards, and extend combos that would have otherwise ended. So it's very good, uh, side B 1, 2, 3 is very good. <laughs> then you have the side B 3 up tech chase. If your opponent is already up in the air from side B 1 and 2, Side B up 3 will launch them back into the ground, forcing them in, into a tech chase. From there, you can react to their get up option and follow up. People usually gravitate towards get up attack or roll behind. Get up attack is easily shield grabbed, and roll behind is easily grabbed or F smash, even at kill percent. Roll away and normal get up are easy enough to react to if you're prepared for them. Side B 3 up can also combo directly into down 4 on miss tech or tech in place. Side B 3 up will also combo into 4 forward and 4 up consistently on tech in place, or on tech away in the corner. 
That'll be it for side B, now let's talk about down tilt. At low percents, early down tilt F smash can be a brutal mix up. Especially at ledge where it's common for people to hold in, down tilt can true combo into F smash, setting up for an edge guard. If they DI incorrectly, just say goodbye, it'll just straight up kill them. On DI away at low percent, down tilt dash attack can work, which can lead into grab, down tilt, or F smash. Uh, it works best on Sheik and Roy. At low percents, down tilt combos into up smash, and up smash can combo into Nair or, or any one of your aerials, with Nair being the most reliable. Combine this with up smash's ability to shark platforms or force techs makes up smash Nair uh, one of my favorites. Up smash also has the unique property of being one of Roy's only usable moves at zero because it's like str it's strong enough to not get like CC'd or whatever. So uh, up smash is definitely a move you should be using a lot more uh, in your combos. On DI in, down tilt fair up tilt or just fair up tilt can work. Down tilt fair F smash is a classic to punish DI in on forward air. Down tilt fair F tilt can also be good. It's a good way to get your opponent off stage to force an edge guard with it being less committal than F smash along with it hitting higher than F smash as I've mentioned before. Down tilt flare blade at mid to higher percents is a great way to try and steal someone's jump and get them off stage. Often people will spam double jump out of hit stun so you can catch it with a double jump flare blade. Down tilt fair down tilt or down tilt up air down tilt on platforms is very good. Making use of the tipper hitbox of down tilt is also very important. You can also get a lot of these same follow ups off of tipper down tilt. Tipper down tilt nair, tipper down tilt flare blade, tipper down tilt f smash, and tipper down tilt meteor dare all still combo into each other off the tipper hitbox and can work at even later percentages when the sweet spot down tilt sends too far away. Now for Roy's aerials, excluding Meteor Down Air because I'll get to that in a minute. So good strings include Nair F Smash, F Tilt, or Dash Attack at low percents. Up Air Nair. Up Air Up Tilt, or just Up Tilt Up Tilt. Nair 1 down tilt if you're feeling fancy. Oh, let's fucking go. And fair up tilt as I mentioned before. Roy's sweet spot down air can have the same function of Roy's other aerials except it's actually somewhat strong. It sends them out and away so it's good for forcing opponents into a tech on platforms or just setting them off stage. Roy's tipper down air starts tumbling the opponent at about 60. So after that, you can start comboing into down tilt, grab, side B, or any aerial. It pops the opponent up so it's useful for starting juggles. For example, at mid to higher percents, you can start using it to start up air and down air juggles. That's it for this section. In closing, I often hear people say, why don't you just F smash, or just F smash bro, what are you doing? The purpose is to mix people's DI up. Your opponent will often keep DIing in expecting F smash. When they hold in, you want to take it to the bank and get as much damage as possible. When you condition your opponent to start holding out to escape your combos, you can let the early F smashes rip and watch them fly. 